Well, it's time for celebration. Finally made the 900 subscriber mark. 901 to be exact. So that's great news. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribed. Next big uh, goal will be to get to the 1K mark. That could be a very, very high summit to get, but uh, it'll be fairly important in that uh, that means I could actually monetize the channel. I'm in two minds about that because I can't stand ads myself. And I've had to watch the, all the YouTube ads of recent times because the ad blockers were uh, undermined by Google. They worked out a way of, of getting past them. But now the ad blockers are working again, so I don't have to look at the damn things. So, um, yeah, I'm a bit ambivalent about that. But uh, very, very happy. Thank you very much for subscribing. And don't stop now. Uh, just subscribe your ass off. You know, that's an interesting image to keep in your mind. Uh, no, I really appreciate uh, the support. Uh, also, I would love it if someone would finally read one of my uh, short stories, especially the most recent one about work. Um, that would be most appreciated because some kind person actually gave me a very good review on the first short story that I uh, posted. I'm in the process of writing another short story which will be an alternate history. Uh, a mystery person will be um, uh, advising the Fuhrer on, uh, on his invasion of Russia which will end with Germany being victorious. Uh, that's the basic outline of the story. So that's what's called alternate history and it's a bit of a subgenre and I'm hoping that I might be able to get some people to want to read that one as well. Um, almost finished the first instalment of it. I think I'll do it in series form. But I would really appreciate if some people could read my stories. It's, it's, I enjoy the process of writing them, but ultimately it's much better if you get people to actually read them and give you feedback, whether it's good, bad or indifferent. So I'd really appreciate that if you could. And of course, give me the old thumbs up and uh, comment on the video that's upcoming. Uh, just before, I'll just do a news flash too before I go into the uh, archival footage about my trip in uh, Vietnam. Um, the, just recently, there was an election in Venezuela. Uh, Maduro didn't like the result, which was against him. And he decided to overturn the results and had a celebration, but it hasn't paid off because the people are really pissed off. They know he lost the election and there are mass protests and rallies taking, but more significantly, the, uh, the local authorities, the forces, the, uh, the, uh, the people, people who are supposed to be guarding Maduro are starting to defect. And so are, so are the police and uh and the paramilitary so i think it could be over for the uh, the socialist bus driver that's driven uh venezuela into the ground so that's good news too anyway on with the uh, we'll get back to my trip in uh, vietnam and hope you enjoy what i've got uh, to present to you today oh well it's uh, monday and i'm feeling a hell of a lot better than i did yesterday god i i just felt totally washed out in the morning and um I got totally washed out <laughs> as the day went on because my uh, gastro hit and uh, not surprisingly the um, uh, the loo today uh, had a problem flushing. I'd given it a hell of a, <laughs> a run yesterday so I don't blame it for, uh, for protesting. I think I fixed it but we'll see. Uh, Anyway, I just uh, feel a lot, so much better. I feel a little bit of energy today. Just, I, I just woke up feeling like death. It was just shocking. But uh, today, feeling a bit better. So that's always good. I'm just, like I said, I'll just uh, pace myself with food intake. I think uh, I've got to be careful how much I eat. And uh, I'm just going to have a bang, the bang me, uh, Heyo. It keeps calling it Heyo, but I think it's actually pronounced Heyo. Heyo Kwa. Which is uh, the, the roast pork, and it's delish. Real nice. So, uh, really been a convert to that. 
uh, looking forward to it. <laughs> the um, I did ask for non-fatty um, uh, far, far yesterday at uh, at that particular establishment, Far Vietnam, and uh, what they served up was these chunks of meat that had been cooked. And some, well, I think the majority were actually on the bone as well, sort of into cubes, cut into cubes with the bone backing. And um, they, there wasn't fat, that's true. They were without fat, but they could be very chewy too, because that's where the thinly sliced flank is really easy to eat. So I do prefer that, but unfortunately they seem to now want to uh, intersperse fatty flank flakes with the the lean ones and that's uh, I just don't like that so yeah it's a bit of a dilemma but I do have an alternative like that but I don't know if it's an ideal one because I don't want to be sort of like I have to really chew one of those pieces of uh, meat very chewy but not fatty I will say that so and the staff were really nice yesterday they're very very obliging uh, anyway that's that's all happened. I think I'll be definitely going to number five bar tonight. It has been a break of... Well, since Friday was the last time I went. So I, I've had the whole weekend off. I had a couple of bottles, a couple of cans of uh, Ho Garden last night. Uh, I had to force myself to get through the first one. The second one went down a bit better. So... Yeah... So I wasn't really feeling up to drinking and if I turned up to the bar, it would have been a total waste of time. I probably would have had to leave, left early I'd say, I would not have wanted to hang around too long. What's this dickhead doing? Geez, you never know with these drivers. Well I think they've got a hedge tension for it here is, uh, in District 7, is double parking. It's very annoying. Happens a lot. There you go. Didn't have to go far to find one. In this particular street, I had two lots of people double parking. They just do it. They think it's normal. So, too lazy to go to a spot where, there's a, where it's open. They could go on the side of the road, I guess. I don't know. I ought to think a week ago, I was freezing my tits off in Brisbane on uh, the previous Monday. And a lot more pleasant here. It's actually probably just high 20s. I left at 10 o'clock. A little earlier than usual. Um, so, uh, I'm going to head down to the main supermarket. Just pick up some supplies there. Especially the, um, uh, the jerky. Got to get the jerky from the supermarket. Hopefully we've got some stuff on special. It was a bit pricey last time, but it's even worse here. It's about 90 here and about 85 there, so similar price. So they've got a great... They, I'll get some sesame sauce, two sesame oil type sauce, just for a variety with um, with the greens. Do the greens. So, um, yeah. But the sun's not out, but at least it's... Uh, It's reasonably cool, it's not bad today. Quite a nice day. Oh god, a lot of traffic down that road. Oh, this is fairly clear. The office just gets packed out during peak times. I guess it's quiet at the moment. God, there's no way I'd be doing this uh, yesterday. Just didn't feel up to uh, walking any distance. I did actually contact one of the um, well, I, I contacted two places about getting custom t-shirts done because I wanted to get you know I love, I love uh, number five bar t-shirts done and one of them potato clothing got back to me and I had to get a bloody app to, to talk to them I thought, well this is a pain in the ass the last thing I want to do is get a new app there's too many of them I could always just send them a text on their phone number, I guess, if they're not happy with email. But I mean, 
I'll probably just front up there at some stage. Uh, they're not too far away from... They're walking distance from the bar, so I could do it. I could go there today and just have a chat with them. Maybe I should. Just get an idea of what they can do and what figures are involved. And, I mean, it's a custom T-shirt. I mean, it could cost... 30 to 50 bucks I guess per t-shirt but it may, be, it may not even be that because we're over here so labour costs are going to be low someone could probably design something simple for me quite quickly and cheaply I'd imagine so oh. yeah I don't think this place is as busy as I remember this pool was very, very popular last time I was here. So I think it's a bit of, bit of an off-season at the moment. Oh, the, the other thing is, apparently they did check out my aircon on Friday when I was at the at number five bar. But I just, I, I can detect no difference. It's not so much the smell. It's, it's, it's an unpleasant smell, but it, once you're in the room for a short time, you get over it, don't you? even acknowledge it so it's not the major issue it's more the concern that if there's mold in it it's very unhealthy for your breathing that's my major concern but apparently they have checked it out uh, but you know it had no, it makes no difference to the, you know I never I've, I've been to many rooms that have had aircon this is the smelliest I've been to so there's something definitely wrong so anyway, but they did at least turn up on Friday. I was the way they wrote written it. I thought maybe they didn't show because I, I wasn't there. But no, they did get. They went into the room anyway. So I suppose that's good. But it's not good that it hasn't made any difference to the aircon. Apart from that, I'm quite happy where I'm staying. I'm. I'm it's better than the, the previous place. In spite of the fact that I have to go up three flights of stairs. But with the other place, I had to go up. I had to go up and down that uh, very steep driveway, which I don't have to do this time. So that's good. And the place is a bit run down and shabby, but it's got a nice view, which I really didn't have at the other place. Yeah, so it swings and roundabouts. Oh, I am feeling lazy though. This is very short walking. I wouldn't want to do any longer than this. Well, that was an eventful night. Um, I, uh, I went down to number five bar and I caught up with uh, one of my uh, subscribers. And uh, he was a very extroverted lad from, uh, from Bendigo in Victoria. Um, and he really, uh, yeah, he got, he got he got on really well with the uh, the staff at the uh, at the bar. The girls really uh, got on well with him, so he uh, he had a pretty good time. I think he bought a couple of lady drinks. I only bought one, and uh, it cost me more than I thought because I'd got the the, the Hong Kong guy had actually subsidised my drinking the previous time I was there, and I was thought I was under the impression that about eighty thousand, but. Uh, no, there are 160,000 for the the lady drinks. So for some reason, I gave them two, gave, only gave 200 to pay the bill, which is pretty dumb because I knew it would have to be more than that. But uh, uh, anyway, got that all sorted. But yeah, it was good to catch up with um, another person watching the channel. And uh, yeah, so that was an interesting time. But I had a pretty rough night. I. Uh, the old gastro struck again while I was sleeping, which is a bit unusual and not very convenient, I've got to say. So um, I think I may have worked out what the culprit might be, why it's going, why everything's going through the system. I think it, I bought a um, a big uh, bottle of Coke and I drank quite a bit in 24 hours. And it's the only thing I've really changed compared to being here in the past is drinking uh, quite large quantities of coke, which isn't exactly a great thing to do, I guess, anyway. Um, looking around for a pharmacy here. 
can't find it at the moment. This is where I had that uh, dud search for the, um, the snake head soup place, which is just shut down mysteriously. Yeah, but um, so yeah, that was uh, not great. Now, this is another one of those wild goose chases trying to find what I'm looking for. Uh, I've been referred to uh, from a pharmacy to the Guardian which is a ch normal chemist in Australia but I don't know they seem to be mainly pitched towards beauty and stuff like that I think in uh, over here um, and then um, they were telling me go to the supermarket which are, oh I don't know I don't like my chances but I'll just keep looking I'll find the mystery item soon enough hopefully The weather's looking a bit iffy. So I'm not going out tonight anyway. I'm not going on a bike. I might go to the, uh, the Speakeasy bar. We'll see. It wouldn't be bad to do. Haven't been. Only been there twice this trip. In certain ways, it's it's more attractive than going to Number Five. I mean, a nice group of people there, and I get to play pool. So that's the bonus. The drinks are more expensive, you just don't drink as much, which I don't. So that covers that contingency. Well, I had no Coke last night, or yesterday, and I had a uh, rather restful night. Well, as far as that's concerned, as far as my uh, digestive system is concerned, however, there was a noisy neighbour. Uh, I don't know if they were on a phone call or they were talking to a friend or... Uh, watching media but uh, it went all night I still got a bit of sleep but I uh, I hadn't found I, had, I just uh, retrieved my uh, earplugs this morning and they were in my bag and I just couldn't be bothered getting out of bed to do it last night so I just uh, suffered but like I say it wasn't too bad I don't feel too tired and uh and I got uh, a bit of shopping done just before, which is very important shopping. Uh, and uh, I was looking for that item, that mystery item that I was looking for yesterday. I finally found uh, in absolute bulk. <laughs> now it's overkill. <laughs> so it's one extreme to the other. But uh, the advice I got was correct. It's just that I hadn't looked closely enough at the at the shelves in this uh, the local Vin Mart supermarket to see that this particular product was on the shelf. So there you go. Uh, a bit overcast today. I think I'll do the number five bar tonight. And uh, I was actually considering going to potato clothing uh, beforehand because they're up, up the direction where I used to stay near District 1. Well, they're in District 1 and they're near the park. I know how to get back to number five from there. I don't, I'm quite happy to walk there. So, uh, see how that all goes. But I think that might be a good idea because I can talk to them about possibly doing a custom t shirt. They wanted me to get on social media and arrange stuff, but I'll just front up in person, have a chat to them, and uh, see what they can do. Because all I want is a pretty, pretty basic t shirt probably something black with the, the words um, I love the number five bar um, if maybe I'd add a, a graphic that number five bar uses but that's not essential so it's a fairly simple job I would have thought so hopefully it uh, won't be much of an issue so we'll see but uh, a lot of traffic out today and maybe it is Wednesday a big day for traffic um, it's a little later I suppose it's probably about 8 o'clock now I'm just going to get my uh, bang me hail hail k okay. hail hey, okay. che the weirdest thing there is trying to get the attention of the guy selling it it's just the way they've set up that little booth he's always around the corner it's just really dumb but uh, maybe it'll be a bit busy at this time of the morning. Oh, it's starting to rain. I better put the, um, the camera away. It doesn't like rain. Well, I should actually be down uh, in District 1 about now, but uh, I've decided not to go 
out tonight. At least not down to District 1 because I'm just the dreaded gastro has resurfaced. Becoming quite sick of this. I'm eating the same diet as I usually do over here. I cut back on the coke. I didn't have any for two days. So. But, uh, yeah, anyway, like, I don't know. I'll just have to ride it out. Maybe it'll be okay. Um, yeah, I generally don't have that many issues like that. I don't uh, never suffer from food poisoning over here. It's, it's only one occasion, I think. I could actually say that I probably got a mild dose of it. But... Uh, yeah, I guess as I get older, it's going to get harder to uh, to cope with anything that's maybe slightly exotic. I'm not as bad as my old man. He had to have a really bland diet. Uh, that had, and that meant my mum, everything my mum produced had to be really sort of basic. And it meant I had a fairly bland diet at home. And when my ex uh, cooked, she was great. She would do all the stuff that you, uh, you know... She, I really I had it very good with her. She, she's a very creative cook and uh, very good at uh, different types of cuisine. Yeah, very good. Oh, well, we all make mistakes in life, don't we? Oh, these cars, I don't know what they're doing. They're going so slow. Oh, Jesus, what's this guy doing? He was going to turn the corner. He decided to go straight now. Pain in the ass. Uh, it's getting close to peak out. I find the traffic around here is irrational, particularly in District 7. Anyway, I'm going up to Vinmark now and I'll get myself some, some beer, have it at home in a safe environment. I might go to the, um, the Speakeasy Bar later, see how I feel. Just I'm not going to head off down to D1 while I'm feeling queasy in the guts. It's just not a smart move in my opinion. Well, it's Thursday, and I had another rough r night regarding sleep. This wasn't caused by a noisy neighbour, it was actually quiet. But uh, good old Mr. G, in the guise of gastro, uh, reared its ugly head. And uh, around 1, 1.30 in the morning, and... Uh, after that, I was just basically uh, rushing back and forth to the uh, to the loo for, I would say, four hours. It's quite exhausting. I've never had so many bouts of uh, gastro in uh, in one week. It's just crazy, and I just I just love to know what caused. I did have some food the previous night. I had uh, our cheese and crackers. Um, in the past it wouldn't have been an issue like that but I was I was feeling better in the old digestive system prior to that and things were looking up, looking up but it just seemed to turn for the worse and you know it's very uh, unsettling to say the least it's it is putting a dampener on the uh, the trip I've got to say because it's it's quite like I say it is quite exhausting but I think I better eat some food and this is healthy food because I get my greens and stuff so yeah, well, I'll still go to the it's old... Uh, gee, it's busy at the moment. This is later in the day, so... Wow. Uh, how many tables down there? I might have to go here, I think. Yeah, it's very busy. I'll just eat here. This is fine. At least uh, they'll see me. That won't be an issue. But, uh, yeah, it's around nine-ish. I don't usually eat this late, but again, because I try to catch up on a bit of sleep. Yeah, hi. Huh? Yeah, that was uh, weird. I just I was going to talk about the weather. Then one of those uh, uh, raffle sale selling ladies came by again, trying to vlog and stuff. I, I just every time they ignore me in the past. I like I say, they must be desperate to to get more um, business, I guess. Because they'd normally not uh, approach me, so it's, it's been totally ch changed. I don't know why. I must look like more of a sucker or something, or a gambler or whatever. I mean, I'm not going to get a raffle ticket and something. I don't even know when it's drawn. I mean, it's really just a donation in effect. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm just uh, yeah, not interested in that. 
I mean, I can afford it. I'm, I'm, my finances are holding up pretty well at the moment, but I haven't really been doing much. Um, I'm just wondering, I hope I haven't lost, left my tolerance to, um, to alcohol. That's causing me problems with uh, the gastro. That'd be a bit of a blow. I can't, uh, I've got to reduce the alcohol intake. Cause I haven't been drinking that much since being here because um, I haven't been down the pub that much. So. And when I'm at home, I'd have like two to four cans max. I had four last night, but normally just two. So hardly excessive drinking. But um, yeah, the weather's pretty indifferent again today, so I don't know how that's going to go. But I think I'll have to get out of the um, the apartment. I've got to go for a walk at least and just to stretch the legs and just uh, get out and about. So it's a bit of a breeze, a little bit of moisture, so hopefully it'll hold on. But uh, uh, that's why I'll be under the awning. Sitting we'll see how we go. Well, that's a little past seven. It's been a bit of weather, a bit wet weather, but uh, it seems okay at the moment. Just uh, finally going to get out at night and go to speakeasy. Going to try to avoid being hit by a car, or well, not a car, a, uh, a uh, bike is more likely culprit. So that would be my first uh, first thing I'll be looking out for. I'm keeping my eyes peeled because you just cannot trust. You know, there's plenty of traffic. So cannot trust these bike uh, riders. Uh, okay, we'll go along here. It's a bit lighter on this side of the road, I think, than the other, so I'll just take it nice and easy. I'm finally feeling a little better in the uh, digestive system. It's been a while since it's stabilised, but it feels a bit better now, so I'm feeling okay. And, you know, I just don't want to be in the, in the room so much, so I need to get out. And uh, I've got another three weeks here, but still... Uh, I would like to get out tonight and uh, also get to number five tomorrow, but I won't know how that's going to go until later tomorrow. Although I'm just going to have a bang me uh, heo if uh, if they get the order right, because they gave me an Opla instead last time, so that was pretty bad. Oh, I just uh, the, the the bed was repaired. Which was yesterday which was basically just the, the brother of the uh, manager he's got a she's got a sister doing the cleaning her brother does maintenance apparently he just put a, a board in so it took him five minutes to do but the bloody thing cracked i'd sat down on the bed to, uh this it, late this afternoon the thing cracked so these half ass sort of uh, repairs are just seem to be the norm around here. So uh, you get used to it. Everyone's trying to do stuff on the cheap. You know, I suppose you're paying big bucks for accommodation, you may not get that, but uh, I think it's a trend. It's just uh, doing jerry built jobs, everything's bush fix here. So uh, this is where I got hit. Actually, on the other side of the road, so I'll just be careful. Uh, pretty safe here. The old. You still taste the, uh, the far bar I had earlier. So I have a nice aftertaste. So that's good. Anyway, I'll be up at Speak Easy in a second, and I may even win a game of pool, but I doubt it. It's amazing the number of times I walk straight past that pub. It's right next door to Far Vietnam. I don't know how I could miss it, but uh, yeah, I'll find a way. Uh, pretty crowded tonight with all the, all the regular pool players, so I thought there's no way I'm going to get to play a game. The uh, bartender put me onto the hat. There is a happy hour deal with Carlsberg, so you can get um, buy one, get one free. Get a small Carlsberg, and at 70,000, you get, another, get one free. That's not bad. I think that's uh, all the time. I don't think there's any hours on that. So it's just a permanent type special. So that's good. And uh, I think there was a guy there I'd actually met that played uh, pool with. He didn't sort of acknowledge me. So 
I wasn't sure him when I, I always feel like I go and approach someone like that and then they're, they're not the person I think they are. You make an absolute fool out of yourself. So well, that's how I feel. But I'm um, probably a little too uh, hung up. But uh, it is a good pub. I really like it. It's got a nice feel. And they were playing Led Zepp. Very happy. Led Zepp too. So I uh, haven't heard the old Led Zepp for a while. And it's uh, nice to hear them again. Not my favourite group. Oh, bloody cars. I don't know what they're doing around here. This guy's going the opposite direction to fly the traffic. <coughs> it's uh, quite a bit of traffic out. I only had one beer in a way that's good because I just don't want to jeopardise uh, how I feel, the old stomach. So it's not a bad thing, but it just got me out and about. So I achieved that goal. And I've got myself a, uh, a movie to watch which is actually based on the life of the new uh, vice presidential candidate uh, for Trump Vance it's his uh, apparently it's his life story and it was turned into a film and it was made by Netflix apparently it's okay though in spite of the fact it's a Netflix movie well I walk out the door into the street and I get uh, confronted by garbologists doing their thing uh, not the greatest way to uh, enhance your appetite. Well, we'll be interested to see what happens today. I'm feeling a lot better, by the way. I had a good night's sleep. Well, relatively good night's sleep. Much better than the previous two, anyway. So I'll take what I can get. Uh, and the, the sky doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of, a bit of uh, blue sky there, which is good, but it has, has been wet. But I expected that when I'm, I uh, booked this trip. I knew this time of year it's going to be wet, so can't bitch about that. Uh, but uh, the, the question will be, will I get the bang meat that I actually order this morning? Because last time I didn't get it. I got the uh, I got a uh, an opla, which is the egg bang me, as opposed to the um, the barbecue pork one. Which is the uh, Hayo Qua. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't see, I look, I don't see how the girl could have got those two mi mixed up, even if my pronunciation's crap. That Hayo Qua doesn't sound anything like uh, uh, the egg version, the uh, Opla. No, totally different sounding. <laughs> I can't see that one. Anyway. Fingers crossed it'll go smoothly. I'll get one because they really are really nice bang meat. Very tasty pork. So I'm hoping that they do get it right. Yeah, people comment about the refuse in Vietnam. It is true. There's, there's not enough. They have the garbos going around, but they don't have people cleaning the streets that, as well as they could. And there's just not the... Um, the philosophy with the locals to look after the um, the streetscape, which is in Thailand, they've got a diff totally different philosophy. They're very much into aesthetics, how their places look, and you see these country towns, and they're just they're beautiful. They've got um, flowers and all other sorts of stuff out, and they they really spruce them up, but uh, not so much here. Although this is a, as an attractive country potentially, but yeah, let down, unfortunately, by um, that cultural difference, I guess. Now, I have to wait for my uh, coffee this morning because uh, the, the lady uh, has got an order for orange juice and she has to squeeze it manually, so it always slows down the process. But uh, I guess it tastes nice to have freshly squeezed orange juice. I bet they put sugar in it, though. That's the only thing I'd be careful of. But, uh, yeah, the lady downstairs running the... Um, the cafe, she uh, she wasn't there today. Uh, yeah. well, there you go. There's a bit of street life for you in uh, D7 uh, Ho Chi Minh. Yeah, I was just here at the uh, potato clothing store, and um, I t they didn't really shed much more light on what's going on. It seems as if everything's done online. 
and obviously it's a back office that does the printing. The one thing I got to do though was check out the quality of the, the t-shirts and it seemed quite good actually. So that was all right. Uh, I had no problem with that. So well, I think I know where I am. I think I've eaten at this place. <laughs> or around this area anyway. Yeah, I think I know where I am. I'll just go and check my uh, my Google Maps to make sure that I've got a pretty good idea where am I located. They're very nice girls, but they, they were just doing, you know, just girls in a retail outlet. They didn't really... Uh, well, it's also the, the, uh, always the language barrier as well, but, you know, they were, they were fairly obliging. So anyway, I'm just going to head off to number five now. Make sure I'm going the right direction. Well, this is the new thing that's here, these uh, hire bikes. They weren't here last time I was here, but probably haven't been up here for a few years, so it's been a while. Always a little like walking down this uh, park, but God, there's a lot of uh, fumes. That's why I'm staying D7. It's uh, really need this park just as a provide lungs for the city. Uh, Probably not the hell of you seem to do to walk around at this time of day. But anyway, yeah, the bike rider was curious to where my uh, my web page was, so I gave him the address, my uh, channel, my YouTube channel, because he actually saw my camera and he was pretty. I think he's fairly impressed with the old uh, DJI camera. So, uh, yeah, interesting. But uh, yeah, I used to walk down here all the time. Uh, as I stayed up that area many, many times. So, got to go down here and then we can cut into Pasteur Street. I'll need a beer by the end of that. That's the one good thing, I guess. At least I'll earn my beer today. Oh. The traffic was definitely um, lighter coming in because it was uh, about 3.30. Made a hell of a difference. Uh, yeah, it really picks up after that. But uh, yeah, this is not a bad little area. It's just the, uh, there's so much traffic and pollution, it's just impossible to avoid. Oh, look, I could only uh, see a 200,000 dong pack of, t of jerky, which is over 10 bucks for the pack, so that's a bit pricey. So I think I'll stick to the supermarkets. It's, uh, I didn't see any smaller amounts being sold. They must have almost worked as wholesalers. But there's a whole lot of packs of them, but uh, only one of the retailers had them. You know, I think in the past they both have, but just too big a quantity. So unfortunately, the girls will have to miss out tonight on that. And I get back to my nuts. I'll buy some from the uh, supermarket. Whew, bloody hot tiring work walking around and during peak hours. It's not the, the healthiest experience. So I'd be better off inside the uh, the bar I think. Well this is one of those horrible nights in Saigon just uh, raining all the time and it cost me a fortune with a, uh, a grab taxi compared to what I actually paid for the um, the ride uh, on the motorbike coming here was only about 40,000, it was actually 30,000. I, I tipped him, I gave him 40,000, but the uh, the ride back was, uh, well, I think it was 135,000 or about 140,000 because it's raining and I just couldn't get a bike. Even if I wanted a bike, I couldn't get it. So uh, I was stuffed. 
So basically, um, I had to pay through the nose to get back home. But that's the sort of thing that happens here. But it's still relatively cheap compared to Australia. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up. Or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.